Greetings everyone! I want to guide you into reading Ukrainian transliteration. Ukrainian language is a part of Baltic Slavonic languages group and uses Cyrillic letters as an alphabet, while English uses Latin symbols and belongs to Germanic languages group. This leads to several difficulties and ambiguities for English-speaking readers in spelling and reading Ukrainian text. Also, this book uses official state-approved transliteration system in displaying alphabetic symbols, whilst phonetic representation system is created by using several sources in case that no official table of equivalence is present. Below, you can find a three-column table which consists of Cyrillic symbols from Ukrainian alphabet, its official transliteration symbols and English phonetic equivalents. Each Ukrainian letter is supplied with an example which shows its usage. Phonetic symbols, by the way, are taken from phonetic alphabet. Now, let's have a closer look at the table. Ukrainian language, as you know, has several unique phonetic features and they have to be taken into account while reading Ukrainian texts. Ukrainian is a consonant language. It has only six vowels and 32 consonants, no D songs and no aspiration. In English there are 20 vowels and the aspiration is present. Ukrainian vowels always are of a complete creation. They are pronounced clearly in both stressed and unstressed positions. Ukrainian phoneme E has no direct equivalence in English and its pronunciation should be checked in audio file. The confusion of the unstressed E and E is one of the most characteristic features of Ukrainian phonetics. Some words can be uttered in exactly the same way while using the same alphabetic symbols. For example, mene, mene, navedu, navedu. They sound very close. Cyrillic letter U always refers to vowel U and it mustn't be confused with English R in any position. Ukrainian consonants for example, which are preceding E, are softened. The same process is present with the symbol Znak in the same position. Ukrainian phoneme H requires special pronunciation. Due to the absence of its equivalence in English, it is recommended to check the spelling in audio file. Ukrainian disengoids aren't represented in the table. DZ and DZ are combinations of consonants DZ and DZ and they mustn't be confused with English D songs because their counterparts are pronounced very clear. To pronounce Ukrainian letter SH two consonants SH and CH have to be pronounced simultaneously. For example, Shelepa. Letters Ye, U, Ya represent a combination of vowel and consonant after vowels and in the beginning of the word, but after soft consonant, a vowel only, and are transliterated as E. As for the next features, letter Ye represents two phonemes in the beginning of the word and a vowel only in any other position. It is also transliterated as E in these positions. Letter Y is always a soft phoneme and represents a consonant before vowels, but after, but it is vocalized before consonants and in the end of the word. Have a note, it cannot form a syllable. The word stress plays an important role in creating Ukrainian intonation. While its formation differs from, Ukrainian lang from English language and cannot be described briefly, every word in poems 
presented in this book has a stress mark. Listen to author's declamation for the correct variant. Thanks for listening. That's all.